time. Now, you know, what I'm saying, Sir Mark, is that on some very major foreign policy areas, and I'm really focusing particularly on China and indeed on Libya, uh, that David Cameron got things, as we would now see it, very badly wrong. I think his appointment as Foreign Secretary is actually quite an inspired choice, Nigel. Do you? Because he has a huge amount of experience, he can hit the ground running, he knows all the world leaders already, and so in a relatively short period that he might have as Foreign Secretary before the next election, he can actually make an impact. So I think he's got a lot of credibility within the Foreign Office. They're delighted to have a big mm. beast, as it were, that doesn't necessarily as the head of the department. <laughs> but he will fight for British interests overseas. He has a lot of credibility in terms of experience, in terms of his development uh, assistance, in terms of climate change. So I would argue that he could be a very good Foreign Secretary well, for this period. 